Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay. You know, uh, these games are recently released on uh, Virtual Console. Yeah, the original Pokemon games! Oh! Oh! Well, I lived, slept, and breathed these games as a kid, and still do to an extent. <laughs> Especially the Gold, Silver, and Crystal series. But anyway... Pika! This game, I need to replace the save battery on, but that's okay! It's good for a random gameplay video. Ah, how's it going there? Doing good? Yes, it... Okay, um... <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you, Professor Oak. And... It's inhabited by... Creatures called Pokemon! Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy! <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna be using them for fights, as well as sort of kind of companions in a way. It's just, just how the way that the game is gonna push you in that direction. <laughs> my name? My name, it is... It is... Ash. <laughs> See, this is a game that's based off an anime that was based off the original Red and Blue games. Well, I should say red and green games. So this is his grandson, in the rivals, since you're a baby apparently, and well, uh, um, yes, it's my beloved grandson. What is his name? <laughs> his name is Gary. <laughs> okay, so I guess, I guess Professor Oak is getting a little senile. That's okay. We are about to begin our own Pokemon Legend, and it will be absolutely epic. Probably. Maybe. Alright, we're off. After we play the Super Nintendo for a bit. Actually, we should probably play it a little bit more. I, I can't just play it for a minute or two. Oh, fine, fine, they're pushing me. In the PC, there's a potion. There always seems to be a potion, I swear, at the beginning of the game. It's just magical. <laughs> Withdraw that to your pouch, and we are off! Hi, Mom. How's it going? All right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. She's gonna believe everything you hear on TV, aren't ya? Aren't ya? I know people like that. <laughs> Four boys are walking on railroad track. This must be what she was watching! <laughs> Alright, so we're not getting any information on Pokemon here. Let's just take a look around. Oh, has, sounds good, sounds good. Mm, you mean they're not ready to protect you yet? Isn't that... Um, well, I mean, how, how do you... How do you raise them without doing battles? And... Never mind. So this is your rival's house, Gary. Hi, ah, Ash Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. Here's a town map, but unfortunately, we cannot grab it for now. Unfortunately. Maybe later, maybe later. And yeah, maybe I, should, maybe I should have read that sign first, huh? <laughs> so this is Pallet Town. It's a really, really tiny town. It's only got three buildings. <laughs> and this leads somewhere much, much later in the game. Technology is incredible! It seems like this guy is at the beginning of every Pokemon game. Yeah, he's, he's always boasting about the technology. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon lab here where Professor Oak should be hanging out. Ah, oh, it's good good to hear. It's good. Uh, are you his twin? Hmm. <laughs> is he now? He, he can't even remember his grand. Maybe. Maybe it's, he can't remember his grandson's name because he's too focused on Pokemon. Yo, how's it going? <laughs> well. Well, alas, alas, it appears as if there's nothing that I can do here for now. There's a, there's a Pokedex up there and stuff like that, but, uh, oh wait, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, a little bit. Yeah, a little tutorial on how to save your game. Oh yes, and how to open your menu. And yeah, everything just says like it's crammed full of Pokemon books, I swear. Look at this, look at this, it's like on every shelf, even at home. Alright, so, obviously there's nothing for us to do here, so let's go through the tall- Hey, wait, don't go out! Now, I was throughout the entire town, 
Where did you come from? This is this is kind of weird. Were you down the Oh jeez! We're under attack! Oh, I, I don't mind being attacked by something so cute. Uh, don't you have to weaken it first, Professor? You're the expert here. Ah, uh, well. I guess you don't. <laughs> I guess you sure showed me. <laughs> Alright, so we got a Pikachu. Whew! Pokemon can appear anytime in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know! Here, come with me! I'm not touching the controls, I'm just singing along! Oh, okay. <laughs> Still not touching the controls, by the way. Gramps, I'm fed up of waiting! <laughs> hmm, Gary? Why are you here already? D don't! You. <clears throat> He's excited! Did you not hear it? Yeah! <laughs> it's like his grandson is just. Completely second rate. I mean, <laughs> like even guests or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so yes, I do see that ball on the table. It's a critter. Yeah, it's a Pokeball, and it holds Pokemon. Really? Before the, your grandson? Hey, Gramps. What about me? I'll be patient, Gary. I'll give you one later. No wonder Gary turned out so ornery. I swear. Okay, let's just pick it up here. No way, Ash! I want this Pokemon! And he snatched a critter. Dang it! Gary, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one! Oh, oh, oh right there. That Pokemon is yours. <laughs> I was going to give you one anyway. Ash, come over here. <laughs> they seem to have a strained relationship. This is the Pokemon I caught earlier! You can have it! I caught it in the wild! What? What? Uh oh. Uh oh! Um, nah, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that for now. Eh? Hmm? Hmm? If wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it! After we're gone to the next step. Gary! <laughs> he looks a lot stronger. Well. All right, let's move on. Oh, uh oh, oh no, uh oh, it's our first battle, and this could actually be fairly tough, especially if you don't grab that potion in the PC. It's only really tough though because it's it all depends on what it's, what attacks he chooses, and yeah, it's kind of like a randomizer thing in a way. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's thunder shock. Yeah, I'll take that! I could also use Growl to knock down its attack power. Oh, really? I got that lucky on my first attack? Are you kidding me? Thundershock has a small chance of causing paralysis, which can cause the opponent's Pokémon to not attack a quarter of the time, as well as drop its speed. And not only did I get the paralysis, it wasn't even... <laughs> it, just, it just seems crazy! <laughs> I think I'll just be able to spam Thunder Shock and win this battle. And depending on the outcome of this battle, uh, that Eevee will evolve into different kinds of Eevees. Let's just put it that way. Different Eeveelutions. And you're guaranteed a level up here, and Tail Whip drops the defense of a Pokémon. Woo! Happy days! Happy days! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! Well... You were gonna get something else, mind you. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen up. Ash, Gramps, smell you later! And he's gone. Uh-oh, what? I heard a very low-key Pikachu sound. Oh, look at that. So, uh, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. Hmm, just like the anime. You should keep it with you. That should make it happy. Okay. Could talk to it and see how it feels about you. How's it going there? Ah! You hate me that much? We just had a battle, but you hate me that much? We won! How could you feel this way? <laughs> you should talk to it and see it. Okay, you just have nothing else to say, huh? Hey, uh, how's it going there? Yes, you're gonna say the same thing, aren't you? Hmm, okay. 
Ah, you're just gonna say the same thing as well, aren't you? Dang it! Alright. Just wanted to see if someone peeps had some different dialogue, but I guess not. So... Let's see what Mom has to say about my Pikachu roaming around there. Mm, guess what? She can heal all your Pokémon! Yeah, it's sort of like a safety point to get yourself up and ready to go, I guess you could say. Though, I, I do believe your Pokémon heal after that battle with Gary, so... <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, okay. So you're not gonna give me anything yet, are you? Are you? Okay, let's move on. We can- Ah, oh, jeez, we're on Route 1! And we're already under attack by a Pidgey! You can either get Pidgey as our Rattatas. And Pikachu is going to make short work of these suckers because Thundershock is super effective. Electric attacks, super effective against flying. Yeah, that's that's not going to take very long to take care of those critters. Let's see what it says to say. Peloton to Viridian City. We're on the road to Viridian City. And he's going to give us a little sample here of a potion. Hello, potion. Yes. That is an awesome item to have this early in the game. Now we've got two! And uh, you'll notice I'm not really taking the side routes. It's because this, this route is very, very small. And yes, you can jump down these ledges by just, yeah, pressing down. <laughs> but only certain ledges. At certain angles. You'll get used to the angles as you go along. Let's just put it that way. While Pidgey appeared! It's just gonna be vaporized! <laughs> Like, there's some ledges and caves that look like that you could just jump or slide down because it's on a different level. No, you can't do that. Only those shorter ledges you can do it on. Yeah, but I can't catch anything because I don't have Pokeballs, so I can only vaporize what I see or run from the battles. Uh, yes, I do see them. Oh, I, that's right, you were going to give me a tutorial on them. Well, well, it's too large! <laughs> I just pressed right and I didn't even change direction and I got another Pidgey, really? <laughs> okay. I, I will take this ex these experience points in stride. Uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna run from stuff, I'm just gonna attack because it'll help me level up my Pikachu. And it's a lot quicker than just having to grind later, I suppose, in the early game. You only really have to grind against the first gym battle and only for getting a Butterfree and then the rest of the game is... Uh, uh, pretty cake to do without grinding. Well, at least if you understand the mechanics. <laughs> Although I might be able to figure out a way around the early game grinding somewhere along the line if I really thought about it hard. Like maybe if I planned a Caterpie growth plan or something like that. Anyway, we're on. We're now in Viridian City. It's amazing. Yeah, it was a really, really short route. So yeah, you see the, the PP? You make all the jokes that you want. So you go to Pokemon, you go to stats, and you'll see the moves. If you go on to the next screen at the A button, see the power points. If it runs out, you can't use the attack. So it's vital that you keep your Pokemon uh, all healed up and ready to go. And also conserve any elixirs and ethers you get along the way, because they're really rare. You can only get one of them, by the way, for each. Well, not, not not one of them each, excuse me. You can only... There's a limited amount of them, is what I'm saying. I can't speak for some reason. Alright. Um... Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Caterpie has no poison, but it does. Watch out for its poison sting. Ooh, dangerous. Okay, so this is where you can heal your Pokémon. It's at the Pokémon Center. There's a Chansey here now in this... Yeah, so it's to ba base it more off the anime, because as, as I said, this is based off the anime that's based off the original games. Which is kind of like a baseception if you think about it, but okay. <laughs> Alright, they are fighting fifth, even though I've only got one. And we are good to go. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's always free to get healed, so if you see one, stop in, and you'll let me get... Speak with me, man! Speak with me. <laughs> so this isn't gonna be open. Uh, yeah. Can't do anything about that. And the PC here is where you can... Yeah, I showed you this earlier. This is where you can change items and... I mean, grab items and get Pokemon. Well, that's at the exact same PC, mind you, I guess you could say, but... Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, those Pokeballs that you waste, you have Pokemon! It's good you can carry these Pokemon anytime, anywhere! But yeah, as I was saying about the PC... Oh, I can't get to this guy, by the way. As I was saying about the PC, you can't exactly... I, I mean, ugh, I can't speak anymore! <laughs> I'm so excited. The, the PC is slightly different than the other PC, but I was showing you that you have the option to check the PC at both locations to do other sorts of stuff, and yeah, yeah you get it now! You get it now! <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, did I check the sign? I did not! And it is green, because that is how the palette is set on the Game Boy Color, I guess you could say. Well, technically it's a Game Boy Advance, this is a Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Yeah, I know him. Uh, uh, he, yeah, sure, why not? So I got Oak's Parcel. Mm-hmm. Mm, all right, I shall. How's it going there? Mm. Uh, can I buy some potions, please? Dang it, I can't. So yeah, for some reason you can't buy stuff. And yeah, you can also buy Paralysis Heals, which would have helped Gary earlier on. <laughs> but alas, we were both starting out and he had nothing of the sorts. Alright, let's see what's in here. It's just some kids studying, I guess. Yeah. So, this is... Yeah. Well, we'll see about that Pikachu, I guess, later on. So this is a school. It's only got one desk. Well, I should say only one table, and there's only two students. Yep. <laughs> it's a very, very small school. They're just, just getting started here. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so yeah, you can so, sort of kind of learn about stuff going on here. And there's quite a few pages going on here. This is the most dialogue we've had out of anyone, including people. Surprisingly, they must have gotten hand cramps from writing all this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta do so. Oh boy, that's the big times. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll move on here. Hey, teacher, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's on the blackboard. It's basically it's gonna teach you about status effects, and uh, this is. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Because you've already seen Paralysis, and that's really the only thing that you're going to come across this early in the game. Aside from Poison at Viridian Forest, so, yeah. Oh, this is kind of funny here. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. He hasn't had his coffee yet. You can't go through here! This is private property! Well, um, this is actually not the same in the Japanese version. He's actually flat-out drunk in the Japanese version. <laughs> they changed the dialogue to kind of tame it down a little bit. Anyway, moving on. How's it going? Why, why does everyone run away from me when I'm trying to talk to them? Uh, it's them. So, oh, he's even got a plaque for the beloved Spearow. And yeah, you can check the map of the world, but it's not really all that handy to check when you're in a town so much as it is when you're on a route. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Alright, so I got Oak's parcel. And we gotta go take it back to Oak, obviously. So let's just go and pop down there. There's a route that I could have taken back on the left side of town, but I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit later. And I'm gonna hop down these ledges here and avoid all wild battles, aside from potentially the little bitty strip of grass between Pallet Town and Route 1. And I may or may not get into a battle, who knows? Ah, oh, I got into a battle! <laughs> It's alright though, it's just a Rattata. And uh, it's level 2, that's as low as it goes. Uh, it has to do with something with the, the coding or something like that, that Pokemon can't be at level 1 this early in the game, even though that is the earliest of the early game. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of funny, in Gold, Silver, Crystal they start out at level 5, and then the palette changes when you reach a transition point and actually reach town. <laughs> That's how the coloration of the game works, if you put it in color. <laughs> so you can tell the transition point between areas. Uh, um, well, it does? It didn't, sure didn't seem like it. <laughs> um, I do, yes, yes. Did you forget about... <clears throat> well, maybe you didn't. Okay, you didn't. Oh, custom Pokeball, very nice. Okay, uh, what is it? A regular Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball... That's all the balls of this generation. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh no! 
Is that just a, this theme song just for a couple of steps? <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Mm, ah, good, good timing. I needed to ask both. Well, you know, you, you just. He just wanted to show Oka's Pokemon, and Oka's like, ah, I, I want to do something else. <laughs> oh, 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 Pokedex! Do we get a Pokedex? It sure sounds like we get one! Oh, man! <laughs> I'm getting mucusy. I should probably stop with the excitement for now. <laughs> so I got a Pokedex, and so did Gary. They just disappear from the table. I don't even know how he reached for them that far, but he did, and that's how it works. So, uh, this is kind of funny. It's got a, you know, it's got everything in the world, and, you know, all the Pokemon in the world, but... It's completely empty. <laughs> you know, he's, he's the authority on Pokemon. Professor Oak, keep that in mind. But the Pokedex is already empty. Well, aside from the Pikachu, which you've already found, and maybe a P uh, Pidgey and a Rattata. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, okay. Y you should probably stick with your rivalry with your Gramps, too, because it seems like you're just ornery against against everyone. And so, she's, he's telling her not to lend me a town map, but I can't actually get a town map because even she doesn't listen to him. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here, buy a sister, and go get myself a town map. <laughs> And now I can check the town map anywhere that I want to. But in all honesty, it just kind of kind of takes up inventory space. It's not that complicated of a game world or anything like that. And I don't believe that you can toss it either. So you so you have to put it in the in the PC if you want to get rid of it. So yeah, yeah, as I showed you on the map before, this is what it looks like. But you can actually move around on the map by pressing up and down thusly, and I am actually going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we were on Palatown, Route 1 in Viridian Forest, and we would end up going through Route 2, and the other route that I was talking about that was next to Viridian City was Route 22. But yeah, we'd have to go all the way over to Pewter City to get to the first gym and stuff like that, but... I think that is pretty good for a random gameplay because I was able to show you some of the gameplay, pick fun at some of the game's holes and whatnot, <laughs> and the strained relationship between Oak and his grandson. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.